All right, this here is supposed to be a little bit better video. The one that I made yesterday on these uh, junkyard engines I got. Um, this here's one of them. I ended up uh, going to the junkyard looking for blazer parts and ended up coming back a lawnmower shit. Big surprise. This here is a model 92908. You really can't see the eight. Mufflers rotted out on it, but uh, they pull over. They got compression. Uh, I know one of them does have spark. I ended up grabbing these. I got another one like this. I grabbed it because it's old. I like old shit. Um, apparently, it's not. This here book, I'd assume, was for newer machines. These books are for newer machines, uh, as they're not in there. Um, there they are. I don't know if I still have this book. I got it somewhere. Oh yeah, here it is. I saw them in the junkyard. They reminded me of uh, the engine that's on this book. I was like, oh fuck, that's cool. So uh, one day I'm going to have to build a little 2x4 engine stand and you know put on a button up shirt and tuck it in and hold the wrench the same way he's doing it with the same dumb look on the face fuck uh, anyway here's the other engine that one's actually got a decent muffler on it um, so yesterday's haul consisted of that engine that's over there this engine which I got for parts to make this one run but I think I'm gonna run this engine now this engine does not have electric start which kinda of stinks this one does um, that's the engine that originally came out of the Burbro Mustang but yesterday's haul consisted of that engine the other one that's on the workbench this here engine which I got the fuel tank and carburetor off of it and picked up this engine which I got is a parts engine for this one um, as I said in the other video all the engines that I got the previous trip somebody had used a torch and cut the blade bolt off motor mount bolts off uh, surprisingly the blade bolt that was on this one screwed out by hand surprised so I don't know between these two engines I'll make one and what I might end up doing is just taking the bottom of the uh, sump pan from this one and putting it onto this one really not sure I mean as of right now I don't have nothing to put those engines in I ain't got nothing to put any of these engines in um, the old Briggs these Briggs engines will go on to something before the Tecumseh engines do um, yeah, this one here has a complete engine. I have the brake cover in my toolbox. Like I said, I got the carburetor and fuel tank off of it. Got to clean those out, rebuild the carb. I got a new air filter spark plug for this thing. Uh, it's got spark, it's got compression. I hope it's not going to be a smoker or a knocker. Um, basically got this one because I'll eventually come across a mower that needs a new engine or I'll find a nice bare deck or something I'll, I'll put that in something someday um, yeah, like I said this here engine planning to get this one going so I can put it in the Burbro Mustang and in the Burbro I think, uh, today's Saturday Monday I'm gonna drop it off at the sandblasting and get it sandblasted all I'm gonna do is the frame the engine mount set up um, yeah that's all I'm going to blast and paint for now is just the frame and shit so might end up doing the dash assembly so I'll probably end up tearing that apart over the weekend getting all the shit free on that wait no 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 not the dash assembly the uh yeah I guess it would be considered the dash that's where all the transmission mechanism bullshit is 
clean all that shit up and get it blasted and painted. That way I can start, you know, putting the engine in it and getting it to where the engine will run. Get it to where the drive system will work. And then I'll work on the hood and the seat pan and all that shit. Because I'd like to uh, recreate the decals and there's a body shop a couple miles away. Guy does decals and shit and I think because... I have the stickers on the mower still. I think he'd be able to, you know, measure them and scan them and shit and make copies of them. And then after that's done, I'll have the hood and seat pan blasted and I'll paint them. Uh, so yeah, that's fucking yesterday's haul. Um, oh, I did get another 400cc bottom shaft Briggs from a riding mower. Uh, it's missing the starter. It's outside and it's actually raining. Um, I believe it to be a good engine. It, it turned over and it had compression. Uh, and then there's another uh, old school MTD riding lawnmower that's complete. Uh, I don't need it. I don't need another project. But it's got the deck. The deck's not rotted out. It's got an engine. But it's incomplete. I don't care. Like I said, I got that 400cc Briggs out there. Um... It's got the transaxle. The only thing it's missing is a seat. And it's missing engine shit. But I mean, I don't care about the engine. I got one that'll go on it. Um, for 50 bucks, I really can't pass that up. Um, I'll have to do tires and belts. and Put an engine in it, but... Hey, old vintage mower like that, I'd say I think at least 80s. Yeah, I can't pass that up. Um, I can, but not going to. I'd just consider uh, it stockpiling for uh, projects for next winter. So, basically I got four of these carbs and fuel tanks I need to clean out and rebuild. But there's only, I guess one of them's a spare because I ended up taking uh, one off a junk engine. Um, I got two mowers outside that need fuel tanks and carburetors. And then I got one that needs to go on that other engine. So I'm going to have a spare. Uh, you have this junkyard. Pretty old old school shit. Um, the guy, uh, he sells engines like this that are already pulled. Five bucks a pop, as is. Um, like I said, I needed a fuel tank and carburetor for another machine. Um, you know, fuel tank alone is like twenty-some dollars on eBay. I figured uh, five bucks... You know, that, that's a killer deal. And at the end of the day, you know, I still have the recoil assembly, air hat, fuck muffler. I got other parts like cylinder head, you know, the governor springs, linkages, you know, miscellaneous hardware. So, I mean, five bucks a pop for an engine, it doesn't matter if it's bad or good. Uh, I think that's a killer deal in my book. Um, yeah, that's the better video. I'll do another video on the 400cc Briggs later. That's it for now.